Today, we're going to show you different mic placements for your drum kit. Hey, what's up? I'm Travis. And I'm Tyler. And this is Twisted, Twisted Transcription, Transcription Studios. Studios. Like we said earlier, we're going over different mic placements for your drum kit. Tyler, you're the drummer. Take it away. We are going to start off with what I would prefer and what I would recommend sounds the best you'll be able to tell right. um mic the full kit we've got two on the snare one on top and bottom i know probably most people don't do that but it sounds good i recommend it um and then one on each piece of equipment each time to kick and two overheads yep so we're gonna have a listen to that in by itself and in the mix real quick and we'll uh be right back to talk about it Cut. Alright, so to us, that obviously will sound the best because you have the most mics on it. And to me, quality in a drum recording comes from the more mics you have. Well, that goes for anything. Like, if you look back at our Making Metal on a Budget videos, that's what we harp on. Is if you're going to drop the most money on something, let it be the mics. Like, right. that's where you're going to get your sound from. Like, you could have a cheap set, that's a cheap set, and some semi-good mics and it'll... Sound great. pretty good. All right. Uh, the main reason for me this sounds the best is because you've got each piece on its own little port, so each piece can be panned in yeah. the exact spot it needs to be to give the listener a more full sound. And shortly, you will see why that make like why that matters big time. Tyler, anything else you've got to remark on the eight piece? No, that's uh, I just highly recommend it. More mics, the better. More mics, the better. So speaking of overheads, um, what's this next one we got? This next one is no overheads. Um, you'll be able to definitely tell that the overheads aren't there. We also do not have a bottom snare mic on this one either. So we're going to give this a listen. Isolated, in the mix. We'll be right back. So that sounds like dookie. <laughs> uh, That's, I don't recommend that one at all. Like, right. Overheads are the key, man. If you want to hear some cymbals. Overheads are definitely important. Uh, they pick up the whole room, really. Yeah. So, I mean, a lot of the, most, a lot, all of your individual mics are going to be isolated to that drum, whereas the overheads can capture kind of everything. And without them, you have a very flat sound. Yeah. You can still pan things because you have individual mics on individual things, but it doesn't really matter at that point because there is no symbols, and that's kind of the root of the song, honestly. Yeah, like that's how you keep your rhythm, yeah, and tempo. So there you have it. Uh, no overheads is a no go. So don't spend your money on just drum mics. Make sure you got some overheads. Exactly. So now we're gonna move on to number three, which is one overhead, one kick mic, and one snare. Which is a pretty good combination if you're only going to run a three-piece set because you do get a nice punchy snare, you yeah. get a nice punchy kick, and the overhead kind of captures everything else. But you're sacrificing your toms. And right. I mean, some people don't really use toms, or they may only use one, but right. I got the standard three. So. Right, and, and, and with this one, you can also hear in the mix that you're not going to be able to pan anything. And we'll comment more on that right after we listen to it. So just hold tight, we're going to listen to it isolated in the mix again. So, as you can tell, that does sound pretty good. It's decent. I mean, I wouldn't say it's pretty good, but it's, it's decent. Yeah, I mean... If you're it, a bedroom or just starting out with your home studio, I mean, that's pretty good quality, I would say, for a yeah. beginner. You get, you get that one overhead, which is going to capture your cymbals and your toms, uh, snare and a kick. Like we said earlier, the issue, like you just heard, is there is no panning. 
everything's going to be dead center. Or you can use a plug-in like wider or ozone or blah, 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 and get, a, get it stereo widened. But still, it doesn't give you that true sound like all miking everything. Right. So in when you're panning each individual element, now your hi hats on your left side, your china's on your right. When you widen stuff, your hi hat is going to be on left and right. China's left and right. So it's all stereo widened, yeah. not individually. So you can really tell the difference between that one and the full mix. Um, Tyler, anything else you got to remark on the this three mic scenario? Uh, like I said, it's okay if you're just starting out and that's all you got. I know mics are expensive, yeah. but if you can spend the money, get more mics. Excellent. On to number four, which will be the last one in this video. What is it, Travis? Two overheads, one kick. So you're going to capture your whole kit, more or less, from your two overheads and then have a dedicated kick mic for the punch. Um, I feel like a lot of the issue with if you are if you don't have that kick mic in most scenarios is that you will not have it at all. Like You won't be able to pick yeah. up the kick. And even some cases, if you do, it's still there's still issues. Right, right. So what we're gonna do is take a listen, and then we'll come back, talk about it some more. If you're isolated and in the mix. Pretty decent. Yeah, I would say it was pretty good. Um, I mean, you got. Go ahead. Sorry. <laughs> I mean, you've got the left side and right side overhead, so you can do panning. So I'll, you will hear it around the kit. Yeah, I was really surprised with it. Like, it sounds similar to our making metal on a budget, and we actually had two toms, a kick, one overhead, and a snare mic. Right. Once you get that, once you get both overheads running, you can capture the whole kit, even the you know the snare, the toms, and everything. The snare is going to lack a little bit of that that pop hit that pop yeah um, but the toms really sound similar the only problem with that is, is you will not be able to EQ them individually so whatever sound you have there is what sound you're gonna get but I feel like that would be like if you're just starting out and you've got a small area that's soundproofed we have a video for that go check it out um, <laughs> nah but if you got a small area to soundproof that'll yeah. be that'll do fine that'll, that'll do great I mean in fact, I've seen I've seen people on uh, Instagram drummers that just run two overheads and a kick, and they've got thousands of followers. Yeah. So I mean, that is a really good setup, and it's really cheap to do. You can buy a pair of overheads for ninety nine bucks and a kick mic. I mean, like, right. yeah, sixty dollars. You can you can get out pretty cheap there. Um, but overall, that was that was all four setups that we had. Again, my favorite is definitely the absolute full kit. But sometimes your budget just wants to do that. Tyler, any other remarks on what we've got going? No, I'm just going to keep saying it, man. More mics, the better. More mics, the better. <laughs> More mics, the better. So let us know what you thought in the comments down below, whether the full kit sounded the best or even the <laughs> no overhead sounded yeah, the leave, best. <laughs> leave your opinion on all of them, what you thought sounded best. Yeah, yeah. Um, so other than that, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell. Find us on Facebook and Instagram at Twisted Transcription, and we will see you next time. See you later. Buy our merch. <laughs> Another tutorial! <laughs> Mail time! <laughs> Mail time! <laughs> Not at minus one. Three.